Okay, so today I'm looking at Corora 15. Now, Corora 15 is a Fedora 15 based distribution that, of course, is sporting GNOME Shell just like Fedora 15. Now, I just want to mention up front, this is only going to be a short review. I have been trying to work on an Ubuntu 11.10 review, but unfortunately the installer of Ubuntu is a little bit buggy at the moment. So it is something I am going to get round to eventually, but at the moment this is my distribution of choice. Uh, now I have used Fedora 15 before and I wasn't all that impressed with it. There seemed to be a few issues with it and it wasn't really something I was prepared to use on an everyday basis. However, Corora 15 uh, has come out uh, and it's been quite some time since Fedora 15 came out. Consequently, Fedora has had a chance to stabilize itself and with the usability tweaks that Corora Linux provides, this is a very nice GNOME 3 distribution. So, uh, obviously GNOME 3 is GNOME 3, so you've got your activities here, and you can see I've got my screen capture uh, recording going here. And then all the, doc, all the docked programs down the side, applications, etc. Now as far as pre-installed applications, this uh, distribution just aims to be the same out-of-the-box experience that most other distributions want to provide. Uh, so you've got all of the all of your um, media codecs. You've got uh, you don't have Flash installed because it is proprietary software and therefore they leave it out. But they do give you Handbrake and Inkscape and uh, LibreOffice and Myro Internet TV um, and a Sound Converter and a VLC. What else? Audacity, Cheese, OpenShot. Um, well, I've installed Google Chrome myself. Um, but pretty much just what you would need on an everyday basis to, you know, get your everyday work done. Gimpy's there. Um, so, yeah, they, they've got a nice selection of software, and I think it's about a 1.4 gig download. So it's not huge, but it is a considerable size. Now, the other nice thing about uh, Corora is that they do, in, they do give you uh, the ability to add in some GNOME Shell themes if you so wish. So you can here uh, choose a different GNOME Shell theme, and it instantly changes the theme for you. And now we have a very light... Uh, we have a very light theme indeed, whereas I can change it back to the uh, Ad, Ad Waiter theme that is uh, uh, GNOME 3's default. Now, uh, as far as GNOME 3's usability is concerned, something I've really found a really nice touch has, uh, has just been the keyboard uh, navigation of this thing. So now I can come in here and just start opening, uh, just start opening files or uh, files or applications that I've used recently or apps that uh, just have a, a common keyword that I can just throw in the search box and it instantly starts, um, instantly starts searching. Now, compared that, comparing to Unity as of the current state, uh, Unity, uh, especially the Dash, at the moment I found to be quite sluggish, uh, whereas this is extremely snappy. As soon as you start typing, you start getting results. The other thing that I really like about this in comparison to Unity at this stage is the filtering of applications just by their simple categories running along the side here. This is something that's very, very visible. It's something you can easily transition your mouse over to start clicking around. Uh, whereas Unity, I find, uh, Unity's Dash in, in particular, in the way it handles applications, I find it just to be a little bit clumsy. I'm going to talk about more about Ubuntu when I actually get the review done. But it could it, it could be that I have to wait until the final release before the uh, before the installer works the way it is supposed to. Having said that, uh, Corora 15 is quite a nice distribution. They really pick up on the slack parts that Fedora leaves off. Um, they also provide you with the, uh, they also have ported Jockey uh, from the Ubuntu camp over here as well, so you can easily grab those um, uh, proprietary drivers that, uh, that are hard to get, especially on the freer distributions like Fedora. And, uh, and so they make some nice usability tweaks here as well. Now the other thing I wanted to mention quickly that I've found extremely helpful here is GNOME Tweak. And uh, GNOME Tweak tool is, uh, is available, I believe, in the, in the base repos of uh, most GNOME 3 distributions now. Uh, but you can tweak things like your fonts, your shell extensions, etc. Apparently when GNOME Shell gets updated you will be able to install uh, extensions very easily. Basically extensions just add functionality to your desktop and, uh, and you can tweak uh, the way it behaves such as putting these icons here on the desktop. The base Fedora release you can't do that. Um, so that, that's definitely a nice tweak as well. Um, now, as far as performance goes, I'm, I'm finding this distribution incredibly snappy. I'm using the 64-bit, so it's accessing all 4 gigs of RAM. 
Um, but even even from the graphics side of things, compared to where Compiz is at at the moment, I'm really finding the 3D compositing on uh, on Corora 15 uh, and Fedora 15 as well uh, to be quite snappy and uh, and very very fluid. Compared to what I've seen in Unity as of late, Unity uh, without the proprietary drivers installed is uh, is being quite slow, and especially that dash is uh, taking an incredibly long time to bring up results. Uh, whereas this is uh, very fluid and very uh, and very quick. Applications open in a snap, and uh, I'm not left waiting around for anything. So it really boils down to me uh, simply opening up a window, typing a few letters, pressing enter, and I'm launching applications uh, with no worries at all. And so, I mean, you can just see here, I'm just loading up different applications as I go, uh, or maybe the settings panel. Uh, that's email settings, okay, fair enough. But all of these applications I haven't launched today and, uh, and they're all coming up extremely snappy. So um, really major props here to the Corora team for pulling this release off. I haven't looked at Corora before and that's why I'm looking at it now. And, uh, and really I was just looking for a decent GNOME 3 experience uh, as it's been a while since I'd tried it, since Fedora 15 came out. And, uh, and really I'm quite impressed. And at, at the moment this is my go-to distribution um, just for my everyday stuff now. Um, so, you know, all the, all the applications are there that you would expect. Uh, it gives you pretty much full desktop functionality out of the box here. Um, and uh, I've thrown in an extra couple of apps that I just use on an everyday basis, Dropbox, Chrome, uh, to be exact. But uh, all of these applications work very nicely, and I've noticed the performance here to be quite, uh, to be quite above average, at least in the Ubuntu camp. And, uh, and package management has not been an issue at all. Um, uh, obviously the RPM and dev wars will rage on as far as prejudice is concerned, but really the, the package managers really don't have anything to blame. Obviously the ad remove, the ad remove software uh, that uh, Fedora uses isn't quite as pretty as the Ubuntu Software Center and it doesn't really need to be as it's not really the type of uh, demographic they're going after. This is for people who know what they're doing with, uh, with Linux to a degree uh, but they still want a distribution that uh, is stable and will give them a, a solid selection of software. Uh, now apart from an awesome amount of alliteration there, we do have OpenShot Video Editor here as well. It isn't at the latest version, which is a bit of a bummer, as 1.4 is uh, is quite a, a, an improvement there. Now, uh, thank you everybody for uh, sticking around with this channel. Uh, obviously, uh, unfortunately, I have been sick for the last week, and so that really hasn't helped, but uh, I will be trying to get the Ubuntu 11.10 review up as soon as I can, uh, as soon as the installer wants to behave itself. Um, but yeah, definitely check out Corora 15 because uh, I really believe they've taken Fedora to the next level and they've really brought it back to something that is usable for an everyday, uh, for an everyday user. So well done on the Corora team for that one. I'm very impressed with the work that, of course, that, that GNOME 3 have done. And, uh, and really out of all the futuristic desktops that, uh, that I've tried, especially after now that uh, GNOME 3 has matured a little bit, it is a bit more stable and a bit more snappy. Uh, I actually, out of all the futuristic ones, I think I prefer GNOME 3 the most. Uh, Unity was very nice, but I found the performance just to be quite nasty. Uh, without proprietary drivers and uh, one thing and the next. So as of right now, I think I'm going to hang here just for a little while and, uh, and I'm going to check back with uh, the Ubuntu camp to see how they're going. But something, I'm going to talk about it more in the Ubuntu review, but as for right now, GNOME 3 in Corora 15 seems to be behaving itself very nicely and it seems to be uh, providing a very nice user experience, especially for me looking for a futuristic desktop that doesn't play games. So thank you again for watching. Feel free to leave any questions or creative comments in the section below. Show that like button some love and I will be back with an app review at the end of this week.